Well, welcome back to another video. We have a pretty exciting video for you today. Today, I'm gonna to be going over Biden's infrastructure proposal and some stocks that will benefit this, okay? Especially one or two that I really like and one that I've even invested in. So let's get right into it. The first part of his proposal is 621 billion on transportation. And if you'll read here, he plans on spending money on roads, bridges, public transport, rail, ports, waterways, airports, and electric vehicles. Uh, in service of improving air quality, reducing congestion, and limiting greenhouse gas emissions. So the major key takeaway here is, of course, he wants to electrify uh, the he wants to electrify vehicles, and with this comes building out of charging stations, and of course, uh, building out of electric vehicles in general. Okay, and some companies that I think will really benefit from this are gonna, is going to be CPS Technologies, which is a producer of this these hard drives um, that use aluminum silicon carbide that have that form IGBT base plates and again I don't understand a lot of this right now I'm slowly learning more but I think this is a pretty good stock to be invested in uh, for Biden's new proposal okay new stimulus proposal for a greener future okay so basically what they their applications are in motor controllers for high speed electric trains hybrid and electric vehicles subway cars and wind turbines. So their components also serve as heat spreaders in internet switches, routers, and high-performance microprocessors. Finally, we also provide products for aerospace and defense, including armor, oil, and gas. And again, this is very, very important because also Biden plans to spend $400 million on home care service and workforce, uh, which is, again, not directly benefiting CPS, but manufacturing, okay? And 50 billion of the money would be invested in semiconductor manufacturing, and another 30 would go to medical manufacturing and help shore up the nation's ability to respond to future outbreaks. So again, this proposal would directly benefit the materials needed in semiconductors, would uh, in wind turbines, which of course part of Biden's plan is to increase offshore, which means wind turbine, um, green energy, and even telecommunication giants with a rollout of 5G networks. So this product manufacturing company has many, many applications and I think will stand to benefit in a big, big way. So again, they make these things called IGB, IGBT base plates which and coolers, uh, again, which are needed in many, many applications um, and has better and unique qualities over uh, copper products, for example, which are also needed and used, okay? So applications include base plates and coolers for traction, wind, solar, and power generation, airborne electronics, power conversion, and hybrid and electric vehicles. Okay, and these other products called hermetic packages, they are they can be custom built and are used in military, airspace, and telecommunications. So if we look at this stock price, I'm not buying yet, but I think due to this 52% decrease in the stock price, I think it could be a very, very intriguing play, uh, and I might have to gobble up some shares if it goes anywhere lower. Okay, the next one I have to introduce is Starpeak Energy. So this is when you create energy from uh, wind turbines, from solar panels, you need to store it somewhere. So this company is basically using artificial intelligence and battery storage, and they're combining those two to basically create a company uh, that is the leading and cutting edge of battery storage solutions. Okay, so it can even store more, um, has more battery storage capacity in California than Tesla does. Okay, and it's, it's, it's one of the leading companies there. And this is a SPAC right now. Uh, it trades under STPK. It's going to merge with this company called STEM. And I actually have some shares of Starpeak Energy Transition Corp. Okay, so those are the two stocks I want to talk about today. The rest of this video is kind of going through my portfolio and what I'm trying to build out my community. And if you don't know, of course, I actually have a Discord. Uh, and right now it's free except for one channel where I put my real-time buys and sells. So for example, this was from the 29th of March. Um, I bought some shares in AI, in Baidu, and in Schrodinger, okay? And those are just the past three stocks that I've bought this week. And already they've benefited me in a pretty big way, okay? So if we'll look at my Wealthsimple account, AI was the first stock. I'm up by 8% on that one. Baidu, I'm up by 8% on that one as well, or nearly 8%. And Schrodinger uh, is actually up by 14.5%, uh, close to $20 gain right there, okay? So if you want to track my buys and sells in real time to not miss out on crucial opportunities, uh, I would definitely check out 
my Discord, which is in the link below. And if you would like, I can set you up with, uh, for $5 a month, you can track my buys and sells if that's something you're interested in. If not, of course, you can come for a good time where we have some conversations uh, and there's some definitely some channels on oil tankers, uh, et cetera, okay? So let me know if you're interested in that. And again, the link is down below. Um, and again, we can see here, th this is my portfolio on Wealthsimple. I'm trying to build it out right now. Again, we can see I own a couple of shares of Star Peak Energy and up, up, up by about 11% today, okay? So in a volatile market, I do believe that timing is everything. And of course, since I watch the markets closely, uh, I can generally tell when is a pretty good time to buy and sell stocks. Uh, so again, you'll be seeing my real-time buys and sells if that is something that you're interested in. So as always, let me know what you think about Biden's infrastructure plan. He also spends on uh, plans on spending $213 billion in housing, uh, on top of $111 billion in water. Okay, that's already another company that uh, I own. It's called H2O Innovation. I might be even adding more to my position based on this news. Um, planning on spending another $100 billion in schools, $100 billion in digital infrastructure. So you, you're looking at telecommunications, the rollout of 5G, 5G networks, maybe even Verizon would be a good stock to have. Uh, workforce development, $100 billion. So helping dislocated workers, assisting underserved groups, and getting students on career paths before they graduate high school. Okay, uh, And Biden plans to pay for it by increasing or raising the corporate tax rate to 28% up from 21%. I mean, of course, this is a pretty controversial move. However, overall, I do think uh, that it is necessary and it is a good move uh, from transferring wealth from, of course, the most wealthy um, for example, Amazon hasn't paid like a cent in federal income tax, I think, or sorry, um, state income tax uh, since its inception. So in general, it's a good move, but it could hurt some stocks. Okay, so you sh also have to be ready for that. Anyways, I think that's enough of me talking for today. Please be sure to smash the thumbs up button in this video. Um, of course, subscribe if you haven't already for any new updates on the video and make sure to make sure that the notification bell is on. Of course, I would greatly appreciate that. And overall, let me know uh, about what stocks I should cover in the next video, uh, as well as your buys and sells and your portfolio updates. And again, be sure to join the Discord. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.